Hey, what happened to your face? Looks like you got hit. Is there a bathroom nearby? Can we pull over now? I'm scared. She can't be trusted to talk to Brittany's dad. Daddy! Hey, thank you. I appreciate you both taking the time to sit with me today. Um, the movie was absolutely wild. And so, Joey, my first question is actually for you. Without giving anything away, there's obviously something that happens towards the end of the film that takes most people by surprise. So I was curious as the actor, if one, if you got the full script and you knew ahead of time what was going to happen, and then secondly, if you did, how did that affect the choices you made as an actor to not give anything away to the audience? Um, well, can you imagine if this was like a Marvel movie and I just like didn't have the script? I had no idea what was going on. Um, thankfully, I did have the script ahead of time and I did know what was coming. Um, and it definitely uh, shaped the way I prepared for my character. Um, you know, I, I wanted to shape her in a way where we don't give away anything, but we definitely want to experience experience both feelings towards her. We want to experience having empathy for her and feeling related to her in some way and understanding her loneliness and her depression. But we also understand that her brain is working in this sinister, almost insane way where we are looking at her and we're like, I'm trying to understand your sadness. I'm trying to understand your cry for help, but what are you doing? And I think that playing a character like that is so exciting to try and, and, and marry those two worlds together to, to get an outcome of Kayla. Of course. And then Marae, for you, I think we have this as an audience member, we kind of ask ourselves, what would I do if, if someone that I knew or loved had committed some sort of horrific crime? And I, I can't even fathom as I'm not a parent myself what it would be like if it was a child. Can you kind of tell me your approach to Rebecca and when you had to make conscious decisions to show sympathy or disdain towards your daughter? Yeah, um, I think Rebecca, Rebecca's response to the divorce and to you know her family coming apart is she's, committed herself to being the type A organizer of their lives, no hair out of place, um, everything just running tick, tick, tick. And, and in that process, she's really left her daughter abandoned. You know, she's much more interested in her work and everything else than what's happening in front of her. And clearly, her daughter is flailing, you know, she's, um, she's a lonely kid, she's got ugly duckling syndrome, she's not sure where her place is, she's hurting. And her mother is not um, stepping in to solve that. So, I mean, this question of when presented with the fact that the, the friend is gone, what are we going to do? The idea of turning their daughter over to the authorities is, is horrific. But there's also my responsibility in it. You know, there's also a res response to my own guilt. This wouldn't have happened if, et cetera, et cetera. And I think my actions are just as much trying to like get myself out from under this guilt as trying to protect my daughter. Absolutely. Thank you both so much for your time. Have a wonderful day, both of you. Thank you, Kalina. Whatever you want to believe, she mean it. What? Don't look at me like that. <laughs>